Hey weirdos, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I post videos seven days a week. And while you're at it, spread the darkness by sharing this video with someone you know who loves all things strange and macabre. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can find it at WeirdDarkness.com slash listen. Hey weirdos, it's Pastor Darren, and I wanted to tell you about a couple of different things that I think you might be interested in. First, if you don't already have it on your mobile device, you'll definitely want to download the U version of the Bible. It's free, if I, if I am remembering correctly, and it is chock full of amazing stuff to guide you day to day. The reason I bring that up is I am now doing a daily Bible study in the U version of the Bible. And if you would like to follow me on that and maybe do the studies along with me, all you need to do is look for me and friend me on the U version of the Bible. And my name is simply Darren Marlar, all one word, D A R R E N. M-A-R-L-A-R. -A -A Just look for Darren Marlar. You can friend me and I will accept your friend request and we can do these studies together. Today, I just started a study called God's Crime Scene. So if you've ever thought about crime scenes, true crime, and the Bible at the same time, well, then this is definitely for you. But the main reason I'm coming to you is to let you know that I've created a brand new Facebook page just for Church of the Undead and I will be posting things that I learn in my Bible study. And part of my Bible study each day, along with the U Bible that I just told you about, is each day, so long as I'm feeling up to it and actually get to my Bible study, I go through a book of Proverbs. And I go with the corresponding chapter of the day. Today being February 22nd, I looked in Proverbs 22. There are 31 chapters in Proverbs, so it works perfectly for any day of the month. And as I was reading today, I came across a great verse for those who truly want to better themselves on the job. It's Proverbs 22, verse 29. Do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. <laughs> I'm reminded of going through a fast food restaurant drive through and, and wondering almost out loud, are there truly any competent workers here? It is so hard to find good workers nowadays. I mean, this has always been something that we've wanted to have. We've wanted either as an employer, we wanted to have competent workers or we wanted to be a competent worker if we were an employee. But man, today we can't even find decent people to work fast food drive throughs So how much more then would a truly hard and competent employee stand out from the rest? Now is the absolute perfect time to build a future in your chosen career, whatever it is. It should be a lot easier than ever to be a shining gold nugget amongst the rubble around you. Again, Proverbs 22, verse 29, do you see any truly competent workers? They will serve kings rather than working for ordinary people. Just be competent, be a hard worker, and you'll rise through the ranks and work for the best of the best. Maybe be one of the best of the best and be one of those employer kings of business, at least, that others strive to be competent enough to work for. If you want to find the Undead Facebook page, all you need to do is go to facebook.com slash undeadchurch. Church of the Undead was already taken uh, on Facebook, so we had to go with this. It's facebook.com slash undeadchurch. Hey weirdos, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I post videos seven days a week. And while you're at it, spread the darkness by sharing this video with someone you know who loves all things strange and macabre. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can find it at WeirdDarkness.com slash listen.